I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to another video. I don't normally do things like this, but I've got a whole host of packs to open. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just open them. It's not on the road to glory, it's mainly just... Um, I'll sort this out. It's, oh, hello. it's mainly just uh, my sort of playing account more than anything. So I'm uh, just going to uh, fly through these. Packs accumulated from random things, SBCs that EA have dropped, and that's not a walkout, uh, but there we are, never mind, Brazil, left back, Wendell, or Wendell, or Wendell, How, why does that not show as a walkout, I mean, I don't think it should do, I think 86s are walkouts, and 84s that show walkouts um, are not really walkouts, if that makes sense, but still. Interesting that that didn't come out as a walkout, but yeah, uh, ultimate pack from something. Was it the free ultimate pack they gave us? I've got two to open today. Uh, I've got uh, one from um, one from Weekend League as well. So uh, we'll see, or rather, you'll see what we get out of that. Um, just gonna sort these out. I mean, normally, what well, I'm just gonna list them up just quickly, just to get them out of the way. Uh, wouldn't normally do that. I normally put like bite nows on them just to get them gone quickly. But either way, got a few upgrades as well, of course, because EA have dropped a madness when it comes to upgrades. 88 plus pack as well as a couple of ultimate packs and stuff. Here we go then. So Europa League live walkout. Brazil centre back from Roma. Eight. Hey, I tell you what, that's actually a really good one. I don't know how much he's worth, but I really like him. I, I think he's a really, really good card. There are an awful lot of good Brazilian uh, defenders in the game. For the Europa League live. Uh, so you've got... Um, I know he has a team of the season. But is it... Uh, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. Plays for Sevilla. can't remember his name. Centre back. You know, what, you know what I'm talking about. Hello. Future stars. France. Could get a decent one here. Striker. Who's that? Dembele? I think it's Dembele. It is Dembele. I, I should have known. I've packed him twice already. So that's the third time I've packed him. I say already. I don't mean since the batch came out. I meant... When they were in packs originally, I packed him then twice. So, I mean, it's not bad. I don't think he's worth anything, but either way, it's not a bad card. Hey, that's not bad at all for a nice bit of fodder. Don't mind that. Let's get that in the club and, and sort this out quickly. I'll just get rid of those. It's pointless uh, trying to list them up, but they're not really worth an awful lot. Uh, rare mixed. That's a board. Walkout, okay, standard walkout, rare these days, Brazil, CDM from Man City, he's going to be Fernandinho, not a bad bit of fodder, lovely bit of squirrel, anyone, Friday night did it, no, just me, fine, never mind, uh, what else we got going on here then, nothing really too crazy, get rid of him, I, the Libertadores to, and, and Sudamericana cards, they had value at one point, they just don't anymore, the lower rated ones in particular, that 69 rated card might have actually gone for something because technically he's a silver. We have another board here. It's not a walkout, unfortunately. It's French. It's a goalkeeper. It's going to be rough here, though. One of the better. Uh, one of the better boards. I mean, you could... I mean, Taliska in there as well is not too bad. I would um, be interested to see how much rough here actually sells for. Hello. Made a bit of a mistake there, so let's get rid of that and move on. Coming down to the final five of this session... Uh, I've got an 82 to 88 left from the previous set. And we've got a pack here that's not going to give us anything good. So we'll just skip that and chuck this. I mean, we get a board out of it, which is not too bad, I suppose. Every board at the moment is worth a little bit. They're not as worth as much as they were because of how, um, how the upgrades have gone. Two of these 82s to 88s. I'm just probably going to skip through them, to be fair. We're not going to get anything great. Unless, unless I see, like, a walkout, maybe. Okay, maybe we're going to see a board. But I'll skip through it. Not too interested unless it's a walkout. We get a, a duplicate Falcao. Hey, I can put him up on the transfer list. See what we get out of the 82 to 88 here. Uh, if we can get a walkout out of this, that would be nice. And we don't. So we can skip that as well. Brilliant. Okay, well... I'm looking forward to the 85 to 92s rather than the 82 to 88s. So that's not too bad, actually, an 84. Mega pack and an ultimate pack. This is where we clean up. This is this is money. The ultimate pack, of course, is untradeable. Hello. 
that Mega Pack wasn't a board. A absolutely shocking. And it's not even like it's a Libertadores masking the board. So we're not going to get a board out of the Mega Pack, which I say shocking. I mean, I've, I've had plenty of um, non... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I can't do things and talk at the same time. Uh, I've had plenty of Mega Packs that don't get me bored, so it's not the end of the world. And finally, for this small, very small section, we have the Ultimate Pack. Can we get ourselves a big boy out of this? Because it is untradeable, and I'm not expecting big things. I just, I swear, if I open this and it's not a board, I am going to cry. Maybe not cry, but still, I think, right, that's a board. And it's not a walkout. Brazil... Left back, nope, CDM. Manchester United is going to be Fred, who's now worth literally 10k. That is an ultimate pack right there. That is terrible. And I say he's worth 10k. This is untradeable, of course, so I can't even sell him. So just a standard 82 rated card means nothing. That is an awful ultimate pack. And a lot of duplicates with Ruffier in there as well, but that is dreadful. On to a couple of 84s now. So the first 84 plus we're going to open. Uh, double upgrade, of course. We are going to get a walkout, which is nice. Uh, we get German. I think this is an inform striker. Is that Voland? That, I don't think that's particularly great. Yeah, 84 rated Voland. Does that mean we get two 84s in this pack? That's not ideal. Oh, no. That was just a single one. My bad. This one is the double upgrade. My bad, I thought I opened the double upgrade. Uh, that was the single, this is the double. It's another walkout, it's another inform. It's Nigerian this time, right mid uh, from Bruges. And it is going to be Dennis, 84 rated. That is just as bad as the other one, but now we have it in stereo because we're about to get 284 rated. Javi Martinez, why not? Nope, it's Marcel. I mean, Marcelo's not bad to be fair. Right, we're going to go with another ultimate pack. Hopefully it's better than the other one. Uh, we just got this from Champs. I think that's Future Stars. England striker from Manchester United. It is Greenwood. I like it. Uh, not as good as he was. Um, not as good as he was. Like when it first came out, like January, February, whatever it may be. But still, I think he's got a five-star weak foot. I don't think he's got... I think the skills were the, was the problem. The people were moaning about these. only got three-star. But still, that's a, a decent pack. Can we get any nice little danglers in here? Yes, we can. Moving on to some more packs. Grinding, grinding, grinding. I don't even know what this is. But we do get a special card. It is going to be... It's going to be a Team of the Year nominee. I think Onana from Ajax, which is, I mean, it is fodder at the end of the day. I can't even remember what pack that was. I didn't look at it properly before I opened it. Uh, let's see what pack it was. It might have just been the 85 to 92, you know. Yeah, it was. Another 85 to 92. Here we go. Let's see. Come on now. Let's get ourselves another walkout. If you don't get a walkout, it's a bit of a fail, right? That's a future stars. I do like these future stars. England left mid. Forgot he was in it. Hudson Odoi is actually not bad at all. Great pace, good dribbling. That I'm actually very happy with that. That's a very good one. Right, this is it. Five eighty-eight plus rated cards. Can we get a good one? That's a scream, I believe. It is indeed German. It's going to be Tony Kroos, isn't it? I pack this guy all the time. Uh, not the scream necessarily, but just a version of Tony Kroos. Well, that eliminates an awful lot of what we could have had. I've had. I've had moderate luck with these. I had one good one with Lacazette. My Road to Glory one, if you haven't seen it already, not particularly fantastic. Can we get any decent danglers in here? A couple more 90s wouldn't go amiss. Now on a different account, and I'm going to do uh, an 85 to 92. I've got a lot in the club already. I think I'm going to try and get an icon pack done. Uh, you might be able to tell by the title that that's exactly what I've done, or it might not say anything about an icon pack, and therefore I probably won't have done it. But either way, in my mind, that's what I want to do. 85 to 92. Let's see if we can get something useful here. It's a board. Of course it is. Uh, we get an 85, which is not ideal, given that the fact that that is the worst card you can get. So it is going to be Higuain. 
uh, of Piemonte Calcio. Just forget he plays for the for Juve, to be honest. But an 85 out of that is dreadful. That's my first 85 as well. So that is the team I'm going to give up for the Icon Pack. Uh, Larissa got in the 88 plus. Immobile I got in the 88 plus, and Chiellini as well. Rest of it's fodder. Regulon was an objective card, and Kovacic is untradeable. Well, they're all untradeable, but you get the idea. I get to save Thomas Partey, Lacazette from that 88 plus that I got on this account yesterday as well. I'm all right with it, you know. Uh, I never use any of those cards anyway. N none of them really affect my team. I've managed to keep my icon, um, prime icon, Andrea Pirlo. Hopefully I don't pack him again. That would be a disaster beyond all recognition. Um... These are going to be much easier to grind now with that 85 to 92 in particular and the 284s. They're going to be so, so easy to grind. So you may see more of them. If you want to see more, feel free to hit the like button and tell me down below if you've opened one recently and what you've got. Or are you going for like Dembele or Ribery instead? This is an account that they would just not get use on. So I'd rather just roll the dice with an icon and see what we get. And without any further ado, let's find out what we get. Uh, I've done all right today, I think. Not bad. I, I want a Brazilian or Butragueno or something or, or a Frenchman, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing Mexican. <sighs> Which one is it going to be, though? Which one? It's the better one, in my opinion. So Hernandez, not a bad card. The other the other one, I forget his name. I forget his name. Uh, he has massive composure issues. So at least we get Hernandez out of it. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Hernandez. It's not one that really gets my, my juices going, you know what I mean? But it's... Nope. Uh, I mean, he, he is semi-usable, right? He's got pace. He's got good finishing. He's fairly agile. His dribbling and ball control is going to need a little bit of work, but generally it'll be usable. The, the problem with it is, of course, is that if you pack that, just not a good one there's no there's no real way to sugarcoat it you've got a bad icon there uh out of all of the ones i could have had it's definitely not the worst but it's definitely not the best i always tend to get the dead nation as well it's never like right brazil and oh my god what could it be oh is, is that ronaldinho no it's rivaldo at least I, at least i get that tease right till the end if that happens butragueno you get teased till right at the end if you see a Mexican flag, it's one of two, and they're both dead. If you see the Italian flag, you've got maybe one or two chances of saving it. Chances are you're not going to, though. And both times on this account, I've hit dead flags. The other dead flags, of course, are the Nigerian ones. Not because I know that the Okocha's a bad card or anything. It's just because he's not. He's actually a good player. But with that, you know instantly who it is. Rom uh, Romanian flag you know it's Haji. you know i i don't like that i want to be teased right until the end so that's why the french flag is really good as well as the brazilian but it is what it is i will use him i won't do a video on him or anything like that but i will use him um in a team maybe in this one because he does obviously just fits this is my main team and that's why on on this account i don't really play on this account that often so if you're thinking that team isn't really good enough mate i agree it isn't but uh and i am not using an awful lot of the cards but at the same time uh, I use it for fun, and we can do that now. Uh, we can use Lacazette in something else, and I'll try him out, and I'll give him a go. Got two icons on this account, which a couple of weeks ago I didn't have any, so I'm, I'm kind of happy. Going to do a lot more grinding, and maybe you'll see another one of these sort of pack episodes in the future. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more of just random packs, then do me a favor and hit that like button and let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the champion, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.